Hi guys, this is the tutorial for Shishasana. Shishasana is headstand basically. So in headstand, what you do is, uh, you first trick is you treat your body as it is in two parts. First is uh, above your hips, and the second part of the body is below your hips. So that's how you treat the two parts of the body. The portion above your hips remains in one straight line and remains intact like a log of a wood. And the portion below the hips also remain in one straight line, remains intact like one piece of wood. So that's how you uh, achieve this pose. Another thing which you need to do is basically take your hands to support your head. You do not want to put the entire head on the ground. So what you do is you join the two, uh, join the fingers like this. Keep it one fourth on the head and keep it three fourth outside the head, so that when you tilt, when you tilt uh, and become uh, completely uh, upside down, at that time your hand, your head slightly comes on the support of your head. You do not want to put your head on the ground. So how you do it is come in this way. As I said, I mean, join your fingers, keep your head one fourth on the uh, uh, hands and uh, three fourth remains forward. Bring your body back straight. Keep your hands in a triangular pose so that your entire uh, body can be supported on your uh, arms below the elbow. So slightly balance, take yourselves up, hold, hold, go straight, go up. Go straight, hold. Maintain yourself completely straight in line, in one line. Focus on your Akya Chakra. Keep yourself completely straight. Focus in one line. Focus on your Akya Chakra. Keep yourself straight. Then when you come back, slightly bring yourself down. And to come out of the Shishasana, the way is you make your fists one above the other. Keep your head on this. After resting here for a few seconds or a few minutes, rather if you have done the Shishasana for a minute, ensure that you are resting for a minute. Bring it like this. Slightly massage your Agya Chakra. And then massage your own body completely to bring the flow of the blood back to the normal. Ensure that you are rubbing your body to bring the flow of your body completely back to normal. And the most important part is you have to ensure that your body, this portion uh, below your uh, elbow and the portion below your elbow, they are going to support your body completely. So you have to ensure that you are keeping it in a triangular form like this. Because this entire portion, this portion and this portion, this is going to support your body completely. Namaste.